Well, tonight, the search for justice continues nine years later. On this night, nine years ago, a Johnson C. Smith University student was shot and killed while at a Queen City nightclub. And police still have not arrested his killer. Queen City News anchor Ryan Kruger spoke with the victim's mother tonight. Ryan, is she still hopeful that an arrest may come? Well, I'll put it this way. She says she's not hopeless. But after all these years with no answers, she tells me she's accepted the fact, unfortunately, she may never find justice for her son. 24 years old. A young father just months away from graduating from college, Paul Fife Jr. had his whole life ahead of him, but it was taken in the blink of an eye. My whole being is a broken heart. My whole existence. Nine years later to the day, Judith Foster is still searching for answers. That if I stopped to think about how I was feeling, I'd probably um, not ever come out of my home. Fife was out celebrating with his friends at the former Club 935 off Summit Avenue when some sort of altercation broke out in the parking lot. Fife was shot and killed. Police say the shooting was unprovoked, and despite the crowd of people, investigators say no one got a clear look at the shooter. My son was a very bright young man, uh, exceptional, very well read. Uh, you know, we didn't have much, we didn't come from much, but we uh, value education. All these years later, Foster has tried to move on, but every time this date comes around on the calendar without justice, it gets harder and harder. You know, I'm not hopeless, but I'm a realist. And um, from what I know of this system, when it comes to people that looks like my son, no one cares. No one cares. And CMPD has told us that security cameras at the club didn't show a clear picture of what happened that night nine years ago. They're asking anyone who might have information to come forward. Brian.